Welcome to a how-to video by Kasori. Today we'll be showing you how to properly operate your new Kasori multifunctional electric pressure cooker. Grab the lid handle and turn it counterclockwise to open. Lift up the lid and remove the inner pot if necessary. Prepare your ingredients according to your recipe. When cooking hearty soups or stews, remember to first saute any meats or vegetables. You can saute foods using the saute function on the pressure cooker or while the pressure cooker is heating up on any cooking function. After sauteing any meats or vegetables, add in the rest of your ingredients. Make sure to add at least two cups of liquid before closing the lid. Once all your ingredients are in the pot, close the lid by turning it clockwise, aligning the arrows on the lid with the housing. Choose your cooking function for the pressure cooker by pressing the menu button. Although the pressure cooker will automatically display a preset time for each setting, you can customize your cooking time by pressing either the plus or minus buttons. If you want your food to start cooking at a later time, press the preset button to set a delay timer for up to 24 hours. There are also six pressure levels. Each cooking program has a default pressure level, but can be changed to meet your needs by simply pressing the pressure button. When you're ready to cook, press the start stop button. The pressure cooker will beep once when it reaches optimal cooking pressure and will start to count down. Please note that it may take about 15 to 20 minutes for the pressure cooker to reach the optimal cooking pressure. The pressure cooker will beep several times when your food has finished cooking, and it will automatically keep your food warm until you're ready to eat. For each result, we recommend leaving the warm function on for no longer than 6 hours. Allow the pressure cooker to naturally depressurize for 10 to 15 minutes before releasing any remaining pressure using our safety exhaust valve. The float valve on the lid will go down when all of the pressure has been released. Carefully open the pressure cooker lid after releasing any remaining pressure. You can even remove the pressure cooker lid and use the tempered glass lid to keep your food warm while serving guests. When you have finished cleaning or serving your food, be sure to wash the inner pot as well as the pressure cooker lid and removable sealing ring with soap and warm water. Dry all parts thoroughly before storing your pressure cooker. Now, you're ready to use your Kasori Multifunctional Electric Pressure Cooker to create healthy and delicious meals and live life tastefully.